So this is one thing that I want to touch on, uh, and I'm glad this has happened in the video. So right now that I have this tightened up, this shaft is completely almost bound up. It's very, very tight on here, and that happens. So the reason it does is because ultimately we could be tightening the, fr the our plate to a frame that's not completely straight down there. And that's going to maybe just change the alignment of these bushings a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead and address this problem as well. And I'm going to start by removing the MRI uh, washer and bolt. I'm going to go ahead and set that aside for later use. I'm going to grab my hammer. And uh, what I like to do is, is, is I use this socket right here. I'm going to go ahead and butt this up against here. You don't want to really beat on this too, too hard. You're just going to tap this shaft out. Again, it's. It's locked up in there. I've kind of done something not so smart right there. Hang on one second. What I've done was, is that my tab was back there, and it was not allowing me to tap it out, so we want to make sure this tab's in the bottom position. Since it is so tight, it's very hard to move, so um, a 5 16 wrench will go right on the end of this flat, and you can turn it that way if you need to until you get the legs on. So at this point, again, I'm just going to go ahead and continue to tap this out of here. how this is moved up a little bit like this at this point it's not going to hurt to flex this shaft just a little bit you're not going crazy on it to try to get just a little bit of play and wiggle room out of it it's a stainless steel shaft so it can take some abuse if you will and what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and get this back started the other way i'm going to work on taking this side off and eventually I'm going to throw a drill bit in here, half inch drill bit. We're going to ream these out. We're going to get this play right to where we want it again. So we can roll this under like that so I don't hurt anything. Again, we're going to remove this other side. Set this down. We'll be using it for later. I'm going to go ahead and load this up. I'm going to switch sides of the bike. I'm going to come over here and tap that shaft down. So I'm going to butt this up against there. You want to be careful not to damage these threads in here is your biggest concern. So. Again, we went ahead and tapped that out. And what we're going to do is we're going to come through here. We're going to push this shaft back. I'm going to go ahead and have rates just roll tape here for a second and I'm going to go grab a half inch drill bit. We're going to ream out this bushing and we're going to get that fit real good before we go ahead any further with the install. Sorry about that. I'm gonna grab a fresh battery here while I'm All right, I'm back. So, the shaft size that we use in this application is half inch, and we can use a half inch drill to do the same thing as reaming this bushing. And basically, what reaming means is that we're gonna be removing material to improve the fit. So. If you remember, when we had the shaft in here, it was kind of going at an upward angle like this. So we're going to try to ream this in a more downward way. So I'm going to go ahead and get this in here and get it started. And I'm going to start running this. What's optimal is to have your bit running at a higher speed 
and you're just going to kind of lift up on there and you can see how material is being removed from the bushing. Um, you're not hurting anything naturally by doing that. These bushings are a bushing that the more you use them, the more they lube themselves. So they don't need lube. Uh, and again, you're not going to hurt anything with doing that. So we're going to keep working this in until we improve this fit. So as you can see, we're getting better. We're not having to beat it in and out anymore. Um, and we're working in the right direction. So I'm gonna flip back over. I'm gonna go ahead and remount this side in the same manner I did, and we're gonna keep going back and forth until we get this great. When you're doing this, if you have more of the drill bit inserted, it works better than being all the way out here. You can kind of control the tool a little bit better that way, just uh, for what it's worth. All right, so as you can see, we're, we're free spinning in here. I actually wouldn't mind if this was just a little bit better. So uh, I really try to make this to where there's no load really on the actuator and it's able to free spin quite nicely. So while I'm on this side, I'm gonna go ahead and pull it back into this bushing. And if you can see in here, the shaft is one to hang at a downward angle. This would be pretty perfect and it's wanting to sit right here. So while I'm on this side, I'm gonna go ahead and push this back through. And I'm gonna just work this bushing one more time while I'm here. Again, going in the direction it wants to go. So if it's hanging like this, we need to make room like this. So we're gonna go ahead and open up that bushing. Again, we're gonna come back here, check our fit. And we know we're gonna to have to do that other side one more time, but this, our fit is getting much, much, much better. So this ought to be probably the last go around. We're gonna start in here and we're gonna need to keep working this down and in. Go ahead and check, recheck fit again, and this is going to be our money shot right there. As you can see, this is just great. I mean, there's no load on that. It's a strong actuator, but uh, you can lock this shaft up. So I, I really am glad this happened today, and because I, I wanted to touch on it. So again, the only other thing that we'd want to do from here is just blow these off. But again, you do not need to put lube on them. Lube is generated from the bushing through usage. Kind of a cool thing that we do here. So um, I'm gonna switch back over. We're gonna go ahead and get the, uh, the pivot hooked up and, and continue on.